Mr. Men, Adventure with Dinosaurs by Roger Hargreaves. Little Miss Curious had found a footprint, the biggest footprint she had ever seen, and she could not imagine what had made it. So she asked Mr. Clever. That's a dinosaur footprint, explained Mr. Clever. There's not much that Mr. Clever doesn't know. I wonder what dinosaurs look like wondered Little Miss Curious. Let's go and have a look, suggested Mr. Clever. So, they followed the footprints. Where are you two going? asked Mr. Greedy. We're off to find dinosaurs, replied Mr. Clever. That sounds like fun, said Mr. Greedy, and he joined them, along with a lot of their other friends who they met on the way. It's not every day you get the chance to see a dinosaur. The dinosaurs were more extraordinary than even Mr. Clever had imagined they would be. They were taller than Mr. Tall. This must be how Mr. Small feels all the time, said Mr. Tall, looking up at the Brachiosaurus. Imagine how small I feel now, squeaked Mr. Small. The dinosaurs were stronger than Mr. Strong. Try as he might, Mr. Strong could not move the Ankylosaurus. It was built like a brick wall. And the dinosaurs were even greedier than Mr. Greedy. He watched in astonishment as an Apatosaurus ate a whole tree. That will be like me eating a whole field of lettuce, said Mr. Greedy. But the dinosaurs were not naughtier than little Miss Naughty. <laughs> I didn't know that dinosaurs could fly, cried Mr. Happy, looking up at a pterodactyl. None of us can fly. Speak for yourself, said Mr. Impossible, rising up into the air. I don't even have to flap my arms. These dinosaurs just eat plants, complained Mr. Greedy. I want to see a proper meat-eating dinosaur. These were words that Mr. Greedy quickly regretted, as at that very moment a Tyrannosaurus Rex came stomping out of the forest and decided that Mr. Greedy looked like a good-sized snack. Oh, well, shrieked Mr. Greedy, running as fast as his little legs would carry him. But a Tyrannosaurus Rex has much longer legs and sharp teeth and even sharper claws. Run, Mr. Greedy, run for your life! Luckily for Mr. Greedy, it turned out that the Tyrannosaurus Rex was ticklish. Tickle, 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 tickle. Mr. Tickle had never tickled anything so large before. It had taken every inch of those extraordinarily long arms of his. Mr. Tickle wondered what other dinosaurs he could tickle. He tickled a triceratops behind the collar. He needed long arms to keep out of the way of those horns. He tickled a diplodocus under the chin. You need even longer arms to do that. And he tickled a stegosaurus. I didn't know the dinosaurs could giggle. <laughs> Giggled little Miss Giggles. He also did not know that dinosaurs laid eggs. I would need only one of those eggs for breakfast, said Mr. Strong. By the time little Miss Curious got home, she was not nearly as curious as she had been at the start of the day. What a lot she had learnt about dinosaurs. Just one more question, she said. What do dinosaurs dream about? Mr. Clever sighed a heavy sigh. Hmm. There are just some things that even Mr. Clever does not know. Did you know? Dinosaurs are all different shapes and sizes, like the Mr. Men. The word dinosaur means terrible lizard. Mr. Greedy means loves to eat. The Tyrannosaurus Rex had tiny arms compared to its huge body. Mr. Tickle has extraordinarily long arms compared to his small body. 
The smallest dinosaur was the saltopus. It was about the size of a cat. Mr. Small is the smallest Mr. Men. He is as small as a pin. The cleverest dinosaur was the Trudon, with the largest brain of any dinosaur, relative to its size. Mr. Clever is the cleverest Mr. Men, but he doesn't know everything. The end.